Endometriosis is one of the most common health problems for women the world over, possibly affecting 5 million American women. So what is endometriosis anyway? Endometriosis occurs when tissue that looks and acts like the lining of the uterus actually grows in other areas of the pelvic region. Because this condition is one of the leading causes of infertility, it helps to be familiar with endometriosis. The tissue that lines the uterus or womb is called the endometrium. Every month, female hormones cause the endometrium of a woman's uterus to build up with tissue and blood in preparation for pregnancy. If pregnancy doesn't occur, the uterus sheds this built-up lining via the vagina as a menstrual period. Although this process occurs in women with endometriosis as well, it's a bit more complicated. That's because women with endometriosis have patches of endometrium that grow outside the uterus in places like the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, the bowels, or the bladder. This misplaced tissue responds to the monthly cycle just as the endometrium does. Each month, the patches or plaques grow thicker. As the tissues affected don't have a natural exit route, there is no place for the buildup to leave the body at the cycle's end. These endometriotic plaques can grow larger over time and the symptoms can worsen. A symptom suggestive of endometriosis is chronic pelvic pain that tends to be worse during menstruation or ovulation. Other symptoms include very painful or heavy menstrual periods, pain during or after sex, and uncomfortable urination or bowel movements during menstruation. Contrarily, some women have no symptoms at all. Infertility is another sign that can suggest that endometriosis is present. Indeed, some women do not realize they have endometriosis until they attempt to conceive and cannot do so. Endometriosis can lead to infertility because it may cause scarring or blockage of the body's fallopian tubes, which are necessary to transport eggs from the ovaries to be fertilized. Unfortunately, no one has identified endometriosis' exact cause, although a genetic link is often theorized. Regardless of the cause, there is currently no cure for endometriosis. However, medication can help to ease the pain and menstrual symptoms that can accompany the condition. In addition, surgery aimed at removing the buildup may assist women with infertility causing endometriosis, as well as patients with very severe cases. Endometriosis is very common and the symptoms of the condition are treatable. If you have concerns about endometriosis, please make an appointment to discuss them with your doctor. Um, I came to Dr. Dater for pelvic pain and endometriosis about three years ago, after about seven, eight years of not being able to get any help, and he's the only doctor who's been able to help me. Um, Dr. Dater's great. He's very patient, has a really good bedside manner, um, willing to take any one of my phone calls. He's, he's really good. Um, definitely comes to Dr. Dater. Um, he knows what he's talking about. He's really good in the operating room. He can find things other people can't find, and he's patient. When I met Dr. Dater, I was in so much pain, I could barely even function, and now I'm living basically.